we've been doing this for for almost gosh 20 years you've been doing it even longer and when you look at the difference between uh, someone who is built to go into those types of situations or be an interim uh, versus more longer term stable situation and i think now almost Every leadership team has an interim component to it from the dynamics, the culture, the ownership, the leadership team. What do you find are some of the more uh, successful attributes that you need to bring to the table to be able to walk in and manage through those dynamics? And certainly feel free to share an example, Peter, because you and I all know <laughs> those are some fun, those are some interesting stories. I don't know that I realize normally when someone's in a rough situation, they there might be because of industry dyna- dynamics that might be how the company is running, but more times than not, there's something that's not right with the leadership, the culture. Uh, the relationships, uh, certainly family and businesses, partnerships, any number of those tend to have those dynamics. Right. That's a great question. So what our approach, I I worked at a larger firm firm before we started Navera Group. And the approach that I learned from them and that I've always done and what we do at Navera Group is, and I keep saying we, the word we comes out of our mouth at the client the first day we step in the door because we're part of the team. And so first, one of the first things I say to everybody is even when we're interviewing for a client, you know, Navera's not going to come in and write you some fancy report with a bunch of graphs and charts and say, here you go, here's some recommendations. We come in the first day, we roll up our sleeves and we hit the ground running and we just dig in and we become part of the team. We, you know, we dress like the team. That may sound kind of funny, but, you know, if you're interim CFO or whatever you are at a company at a C-suite level, and it's a manufacturing company and everybody wears jeans and T-shirts in the summer, you wear jeans and T-shirts because you don't want to be perceived as a us and them. Oh, it's the office. A perfect example is right now the company that I'm at right now. It's a manufacturing company. I was told when I had a town hall the third day I was here, well, we, we don't really, we're not allowed to come in the office and talk to anybody or ask any questions. And I was like, what? That rule's broken. That one, that one's done. You, you can come into the office and talk to anybody you want at any time. If somebody's busy and the door shut, that's one thing, but you are welcome. You, you can't have division within a company. Um, it just doesn't work. It, 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 it just goes to the whole morale thing. You become, and you just, you, you walk around, you meet people, you greet people, you be authentic about it. I'm not like walking up to people smiling, hi, nice to meet you. And and I'm like talking behind their back when I leave. No, this, this, this company I'm at right now, I walk the manufacturing floor every day, once or twice a day, just hi, how you doing? How's everything going? People are busy doing their work. I'm not interrupting folks, but just to say, hi, you need anything? Everything going all right? Just want to build trust. That's really what you're trying to do in a genuine manner. 